Christian candidates for the student government Supreme Court at the University of Houston have learned they'd best keep their faith-inspired views to themselves. Student court candidate Maya Little quoted a Bible verse in her opening speech at a meeting there, was accused of religious bias, and then she was denied the position. Farther north, University of Michigan head football coach Jim Harbaugh expressed his pro-life views during a recent Right to Life event. Now students and some of his critics want Coach Harbaugh fired. Well, here to discuss more about the bias against people of faith on American college campuses is campus reform reporter Alexa Schwera. Alexa, it's good to see you again. So unfortunately, this is not good news for the First Amendment and First Amendment rights of the University of Houston. So tell us more about student Maya Little and what happened to her. Well, you're absolutely right. This is terrible news for the First Amendment and particularly for freedom of religion. We have Maya Little, who is a student at the University of Houston, who was vying for a spot on her student Supreme Court, and leftist students barred her that opportunity simply because she quoted the Bible in her opening speech. But what these leftist students actually fail to realize is that this nation is founded on Judeo-Christian values, and it's Judeo-Christian values that make up our government and make up our laws. It is the foundation of our judicial system. In America, one of our national mottos is, in God we trust. And in the Capitol, Moses is depicted as a lawgiver. So it's very hypocritical for these students who are interested in pursuing law and pursuing government to, at the same time, remove little from that opportunity simply because of her religious beliefs. And is she a pre-law student? And do you know what she said? What did she quote from the Bible? Do we know? So Little quoted Isaiah 11, but regardless of the quote, it doesn't matter because that is her constitutionally protected speech. If Little wants to open her speech with the Bible and express her faith, then all the more to her. She has that constitutionally protected right. And for students who, again, are interested in pursuing law and pursuing government, to try to take that right away from her is abhorrent. But here at the Leadership Institute's campus reform, this isn't the first time that we have seen Christian students discriminated because of their religious beliefs. Just last November at Auburn University, a student was barred from serving as chief justice of his student Supreme Court because he was a devout Christian. And it took a campus reform report for the student to even go out back and serve as an associate justice. But it shouldn't take Take media pressure for liberal students to toss away their overt anti-Christian bias and appoint students to serve their campus who are interested and have a passion for law, justice, and order. What did the University of Houston administration say about this? Anything? Did they respond at all? Well, I can tell you what they should be doing about it, and they should be standing up and protecting Little's freedom of speech. They should be standing up and defending her First Amendment rights. College campuses and university administrators have a responsibility to protect the rights of their students. And by staying silent on this issue, the University of Houston is just tossing Little's rights out the door. So they should be hearing more about this case. They should be looking into and investigating what exactly happened and ensure that her speech is protected on campus. And it wasn't just there in Houston. University of Michigan head football coach Jim Harbaugh attended a pro-life event recently in Plymouth, Michigan. This was off campus. He urged women to have courage to let the unborn be born. And wow, did that ever create a firestorm on social media? And some students were so outraged they wanted Harbaugh fired. Your thoughts on that one? Unfortunately, that's where we are as a society nowadays, where if someone has the courage to stand up and defend the unborn, defend the right to life, they're canceled by today's modern society. And one thing we always say here at the Leadership Institute's campus reform is that what happens on a college campus eventually will become mainstream in society. So it's unsurprising that this is the behavior we are seeing from these students, and that's the reaction they're having to the football coach standing up and having pro-life beliefs. This is an attack on freedom of religion, and it's an attack on freedom of speech. And we have to be more adamant about teaching respect for the First Amendment so we recognize that we all have it. We all have the right to say what we have deeply feel, what we deeply believe. This should be something that is taught and pushed on a college campus so that when they do graduate and go out into society, we're able to return to having civil conversations about hard topics. And it seems like this anti-faith attitude is intensified since the Supreme Court's uh, Dobbs decision. Now only pro-abortionists are allowed on campus, seems like that. Our universities were once supposed to be great institutions where various opinions were welcomed, where issues were debated, critical thinking was encouraged. Why is this happening now, Alexa? 
Well, it's because no one has stood up and told these students no and challenged their wrong ideas. Just recently, I went down to Georgetown here in our nation's capital, and I was speaking to students about the Constitution and how exactly it applies to abortion. As we know, in Dobbs, the Supreme Court ruled that there is no constitutional right to an abortion. But the students that I talked to were adamant that the court had made the wrong decision. So what I really took away from those conversations is that these pro-abortion radicals are interested in what the Constitution actually says, they're interested in interpreting it so they can continue to push their radical notions. This is what we're up against. This is what these students believe. And it is all across the country on America's college campuses. We have to get back to a spot where we can have civil conversations that are based in truth, objectivity, and fact. Okay, something for parents to keep in mind as they prepare to send their students, their children off to college this fall. Alexa Schwara, campus reform reporter. Good talking with you again, Alexa. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me.